you are, George. Uh, thanks, Barry. It sure is well if you'd lend me all this stuff. Well, that's right. Anything for a friend. I won't eat it for two weeks. Oh, your friends are sure going to miss you. Especially Lorraine. Say, that's some party she's planning for Saturday. Don't tell me. But I've been going on these camping trips with a family ever since I was a kid. And, well, you know how it is. Yeah, I know. Well, I'll see you in two weeks. Don't forget to send a postcard. So long. See ya. Haven't you dressed, Jeff? You know we want to leave right away. Oh, I had to wash the car. Nobody here had helped me. It's a lucky thing George came along and helped. It's a good thing I have friends. Now, Barry, every member of the family's been doing his share. Diana's been with me and Dick's with your father. Besides, Mother had to pack your suitcase because you and George took up so much time. That's my shirt. My best cat. Oh, Barry, now look what you've done. Barry! My tennis racket. You, Dad, look what Barry did. I see, Dick. Well, never mind. Barry will let you use his racket instead. Well, I can't. I just lent it to George. I declare, Barry, I do wish you'd show as much consideration for the members of your own family as you do for your outside friends. At least as much as you do for Lorraine. You leave her out of this. No. Um, maybe I would. If my family'd show me as much consideration as my friends do. That's enough, Barry. You see, everybody's always picking on me. Change your clothes, Barry. We're waiting to leave. Well, you don't have to wait any longer. I'm not going. Not going? No. Oh, Barry! I'd rather stay here with my friends. Do your outside friends really mean more to you than we do? Don't you consider your family your friends? Well, how can a guy be friends with his family? Oh, well, maybe he can't be. In any case, we're going away to have fun. We don't want anyone along who doesn't want to come. You'd rather stay here alone. Oh, I won't be alone. I've got my friends. Barry. Never mind. You'll be all right. Here, son. You can charge your food at the grocer's. Oh, gee, thanks, Dad. Goodbye, Barry. Take care of yourself. I will, Mother. I'll leave your fishing tackle and suitcase. Okay, swell, Dad. Bye. Right. See you, Dick. Goodbye, Barry. Bye. Goodbye, Barry. Bye, Mother. Hello? Lorraine? This is Barry. Yeah. Say, I'll be able to come to your party after all. Uh, this is the life. Get up when you're good and ready. What day is it? Who knows? What did I do all day yesterday? Who cares? And the day before. Must be one of my friends. Hello? Oh, Freddy? No, Diane isn't here. She's going away with the family. About ten more days. All right, Freddy. Hmm. Huh. What does he see in Diana? Running around with her shirt tail hanging out? Wonder what she's doing now. Getting in somebody's hair. And Dick. He's probably splashing around in the water, making a pest of himself. That's an idea. Get a gang and go swimming. Just my friends. No kids hanging around. And no parents telling us to be careful. Huh. 
nobody home. I'll call Jack. Oh, no. He's gone away on vacation. Why haven't any of my friends called me? I'll call George. Want my tennis racket anyway. Uh, that's no good. He's taken a job. Wanted me to go to work, too. Hmm. Wish I had the car. Well, might as well eat breakfast and go out and see what I can stir up. Must be somebody around. Come on in, George. Just for a minute. I promised the folks I'd come straight home from the movie. I forgot you're not a free man. <laughs> it must be great. Let's have some dinner. Dinner? Haven't you eaten yet? No. Eating's like everything else now. I uh, eat when and what I please. Doesn't look like you're going to eat much tonight. Oh, we'll rustle up something. <laughs> That's the fun of it. No, thanks. I had plenty to eat. Mom's a mighty good cook, you know. Yeah, I, I know. By the way, uh, I've got some time and I could use my tennis racket. Oh, well, I do have a date to play Saturday and my racket is broken. But of course, well, if you... I'll have it back to you Saturday. Okay, fair enough. I'll come around with it in the morning. That's all right. I I'll pick it up at your house. Uh, I've got lots of time. Okay, thanks, Perry. You're a real pal. So long. So long. Real pal, am I? <laughs> Real pal to lend him my racket so he can go off and play with somebody else. Wouldn't you think a friend would ask you to come along? Huh? And wouldn't you think he'd invite a guy to dinner? friends for, anyway. If his folks went away, my mother would be quick enough to ask him for dinner. Yeah. She sure would. Mom's mighty good about things like that. Bet the family enjoyed their dinner tonight. Lively conversation. Not much fun eating alone. Not much fun spending the day alone. Where is everybody? Well, at least there's Lorraine's party Saturday night. Nah, this is no good. Beans, beans, beans. I have to start eating in restaurants. With what? I should have asked Dad for more money. Nah, he wouldn't have given me any. I'll bet he would. Funny thing about Dad, he always comes through if you give him a chance. Hello? Hi, Lorraine. How's the party shaping up? Oh, I'm sorry to hear you're sick. What's the matter? The party's off. I'm out of money. Nobody to do things with. Why not take that job? Keep me busy during the day. Give me a little money. Yeah. Ask George about it. Tired. Four days at the garage and I'm tired. What's the matter with me? But Mr. Simpson says I'm a born mechanic. What a stick with it. Maybe I should forget about going to college. Maybe. 
Wish Dad were here so we could talk it over. Wish Dad were here, period. Or if I were with Dad. He's having the time of his life. He's a good fisherman, too. And a good sport. Always have a good time with Dad. He has a good time with me, too. I probably took away some of his fun by staying home. That's a selfish thing to do. But then, he has Dick. Good old Dick. Say, Barry, how about a game of checkers? You aren't doing anything. I've got a surefire system. I guarantee I'll beat you, if you give me two men. How about it, Barry? You aren't doing anything. Not doing anything. Boy, how I'd like to play checkers with you right now. It's lonely. I never before listened to one empty house. Barry, Diane's bringing home a few friends this afternoon, and I'd like to surprise them. Will you slip down to the drugstore and get some ice cream? Oh, let her get her own ice cream. Why should I bother? What's she ever done for me? Barry. Barry, guess what? You forgot to have your suit pressed to wear it as a school play tonight, so I took it down and waited for it. What would Lorraine think? They're swell people. All of them. They do the kind of things you expect of your friends. Friends. That's it. They're the most dependable friends I have. Yeah, they sure are. But what kind of a friend have I been to them? the old pavilion. You mean the roof doesn't leak? Oh. <laughs> Have you been all right, Barry? No, I've been swell, only I'm looking forward to one of those terrific... Well, I'll get it. You know, Mother, you never really appreciate your family until they're not around. Hi, fella. You know, it sort of spoil things for Dick. You're not being there. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I gotta help Dad unload the car. Hi, Hi, Barry. Hey, Dad, here, let me take these. How'd you make out? Swell. Good. Look, Barry got me a new tennis racket to dip from your clumsy brother. That's very thoughtful of you, Barry. Well, why not? I broke it, didn't I? Gee, Barry, you're swell. Diana, what's the matter? What happened, dear? Oh, it was Freddie. He can't take me to the party tonight. Oh, that's too bad. But I think your father could drive you over. But I'll be the only girl without a date. Hey, wait a minute, sis. I got an idea how we can fix that. What do you think of this? I can get the car in top shape if you'll let me drop you at the office and take the car to the garage. Mr. Simpson says I can work on it whenever there's any slack time. And, of course, they're Saturdays. What do you think? Well, I think that's a good idea. Well, gentlemen, how do we look, Mother? <laughs> <laughs> well, is that my sister? Well, no wonder all those fellas telephoned while you were away. Barry, are you sure you don't mind taking me to the party? Well, look, it was my idea, wasn't it? I only hope I can show you a good time. Come on. Sure. Bye, Have Mom. a good time. Bye, Dad. Goodbye, dear. Okay. Don't worry, madam. I'll bring your daughter home early. <laughs> Goodbye. Go on. Go on, Barry. See you there. Bye, Dick. Gee, it's fun to be with people you like, isn't it? Yes, Dick. It's always good to be with your friends. Your friends at school and your friends at work. 
and your friends at home.